Good afternoon, and uh, we're going to uh, talk about the one verse in the scripture that talks about the rapture. I mean, there's many verses that uh, bring out this uh, event itself, but there's one in particular that, because you hear a lot of people who mock the rapture and uh, make fun of it and, and criticize those who believe in a rapture, they'll say, well, where is the rapture in the Bible? And uh, I'm going to read this verse here, this, of course, like I said, there's many other verses besides this, but this one in particular, they cannot deny. Of course, they will deny because they, uh, once someone's heart is hardened toward not receiving truth, uh, it doesn't matter sometimes if you give them the exact verses that point out to, to certain truths, uh, those that are hard-hearted and, and uh, were not, not open to receive revelation and understanding uh, or self-deceived, uh, they will still not be able to uh, to change their attitude unless they have the right attitude in the first place about this subject. But uh, in First Thessalonians chapter four, verse seventeen. Now I could read the verse before that, but I just want to take one verse here. This one verse in verse seventeen speaks of the, of this event. It says, "Then we which are alive, okay." This is not talking about dead people right here. The, then we which are alive, that would be uh, the born-again believers. And, but then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Now the word English word is caught up. But in the, uh, orig uh, in the actual Greek language, the word would have been uh, herpazo. Or in Latin, it would have been rapio. But the word translated means exactly that, called up. That's why we have it in our English translations, uh, called up. But it, it speaks of, this is where the term, the word rapture comes from. From rapio in, in, in Latin, this is where the, the word rapture comes from. It means to catch up, to take by force. And so it describes people who are alive and remain shall be caught up. Caught up where? Together. Together with them in the clouds. Now, you have to go back to verse 16 just to know who, who, who we will be caught up with. In verse 16, it says, For Yahushua himself, this is the Messiah, Yahushua himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahuwah, and the dead in Messiah shall rise first. Okay, this is a resurrection this is talking about here. The, the dead in Messiah shall be rise first. They shall be resurrected. Then we which are alive, verse 17, going back to verse 17, then we which are alive and remain, talking about those that are alive on the earth at the same time, shall be caught up together with them, with those that have already died before us. To meet, and for this reason, to meet Yahushua in the air. Notice He's not coming to be here on the earth. We're meeting him in the air. <laughs> and we will all be changed. Now, uh, in, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 and 52, the Apostle Paul wrote that we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. So he's making reference to this event right here. We sh this mortal shall have put on immortality. This corruptible shall have put on incorruption. <laughs> uh, and he says, and so shall we ever be with Yahushua. Wherefore, verse 18, wherefore, because of what I've shared with you, comfort one another. You cannot deny that the rapture is taught in the scriptures. And those that mock it and make fun of it and criticize it, you do it to your own uh, destruction. And, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I have a little patience with people who are, who try to, to uh, distort the scriptures and try to uh, allegorize the scripture. The scripture is very plainly, uh, uh, should be taken at literal va value here. When, when the scripture says that we shall be called up together to meet them in the air, and so shall we ever be with Yahushua. This is the rapture. And this is uh, undeniable proof or evidence 
for those who have ears to hear. The problem is there are a lot of people who don't have ears to hear. So I want to encourage you, so if someone tries to, uh, you know, put the pressure on you by saying the rapture is not in the Bible, then you share this video with them, or you take them to these scriptures yourself and show them what the Word has to say. Until our next session, shalom.